Welcome to the MSI channel where I try to resurrect an old MSI 8080 computer. All right, so we uh, got the uh, card wired up. Uh, so the uh, SSI uh, 263 chip will go here. We've already tested the uh, audio section, which goes up to the speaker connector. Um, and that's what the back looks like. So, I think. Um, I am not going to stick the chip in there until I test things. Uh, first of all, I paid a lot of money for the chip, and second of all, I don't know if I can get another one. Uh, they're just very, very rare. So uh, I'm going to um, power things up and check all the voltages and signals uh, on the card, and then maybe we'll check the addressing and stuff. Uh, it will do as much as we can before we actually plug the, plug the chip back in. And. Uh, I'll get out my little, my little voltmeter here. If you can see that or not, uh, maybe the lighting's kind of bad. It's not a, it's not a backlight. Oh, maybe it is. I think it does have a backlight. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Alex said I love this little meter. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, let me just go ahead and apply power. And I'll check, uh, oh, of course the light's not going to stay on. Anyway, I'll just read it to you. Uh, 4.8 volts on uh, pin 24, 4.8 volts on pin 23. Uh, so we'll have to check all of the pins, make sure everything looks right. Pin 23 should be high, that's the divide by 2 uh, signal. Uh, pins 20... Two should be the clock input. Uh, so why don't we check that? Uh, put it on hertz. Uh, two megahertz. Very good. All right. Um, Twenty should be low. It's a chip select. should be high, that's a chip select. 18 should be should be high. That's a reset, not reset. And then we have all the address lines, uh, which are all sitting at 0.1 volts. All right. And then on the other part, uh, let's see, pins 1 is output, pin 2 should be ground, which it is. 3 is a no connect, 4 is our output, which should be pulled up. And it's uh, pulled up. Mm. Then we have 3 address lines, which are ground. Right now, 12 should be ground. So. Everything's looking pretty good. Uh, next thing I wanted to do is look at the addressing of this card. Uh, we have um, the switches. Switches here. Uh, where's my schematic for the switches? Uh, I think I probably left them in the garage. Anyway, I think we can guess here. Um, Let's see, we have closed and open. So right now everything is closed. And I think what we want here is we want everything open to be high because we want E, E0. So we want... All right, found schematic. Um, so these switches are A0 is at top. So A0, we want to be a 1, uh, which is open. And we want open, 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 which is uh, like this, 1, 1, 1. And then we want the 0. So this is F, this is E. And we want the rest to be 0. So the rest, uh, we want to be, we want to be closed. 
So it should address at E0. Uh, let's see. This is the not match signal here. And it is 3.7, so it's a high. So, um, let's do an examine at, wait a minute, this isn't a low, low bit. So this is an output port, so we need to, let's write a program. Uh, let's uh, input from FF, and let's output to E0. And let's go back. Okay, so input FF, output E0. All right, so let's single step this program. There's an output, F, and now we're doing the output fetch. So that should now be low. And it, uh, it is not. Okay, maybe I stepped too far. Let me, um, oh, this is hold, hard to hold on to. Um, let's see. Let me. Let me see if I can find a ground. Let's see if that works. That's a ground. Does that work? Yeah, that frees up one hand. All right. And I will probe not match. And uh, I will single step the program again. And I do not see it addressing. See, we have open, 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 one, 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 zero, 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 and one, one, zero, zero, zero. Hmm. I'm not sure why this isn't working. Unless the switch is in backwards, so that open isn't open and closed isn't closed. Uh, let's do that. Or maybe it's inverted. Okay, let's try that. Alright. Oops. Single step program. Oops. It's hard to probe this. Nope. Not working. Hmm. Let's put them all all open. And we'll try Oh, I don't want them all open. Let's put them all closed. Let's try zero. See if we can go to address zero. So we're going to output to zero. Okay. Let's see if that does anything. No. Huh. I'm not sure why this isn't working. Okay. Let's check some... Check some voltages on the chip then. Let's see the chip. This is pin one. And pin one is low. Let's
Oh, I changed. Okay, good. All right, so here's a jump, zero, zero. Here's the input, FF. F. Uh, here's the output to zero. And then here's the fetch. Huh. Oh, it triggered just for a second. There. Which instruction am I on? I'm doing an input. Huh. So, I'm doing the input from FF and I'm getting I'm getting a signal here. So maybe it thinks this is FF. Okay, and I have them all set one way. So let me change these all and see if we still see that signal. It's still, oh, it's high now. Oh, good. So it's high. And if I flip this bit, it went low. All right. So we went from F to E. And it's, it's not, well, I'm confused. Why don't I work on this for a while? I'll get back. Well, I figured out what was wrong, and it's very surprising. Um, this switch is bad. Uh, I've never seen this before, but this dip switch will not make contact. Any of the eight uh, switches will not make contact. Um, and uh, just, uh, I've got one in the garage that works perfectly, so I guess I'll swap them out. Um, I've never seen such a crazy thing, crazy thing, but something must have oxidized inside and and it just went bad. But uh, yeah, I have them all all set to uh, make contact and they just don't work. So, okay, that's coming out. All right, took the switch out, put the new switch in, the new switch works. <laughs> so um, let's give it a try. See if we can, uh, see if we can address E zero zero. Um, all right, so let's check the volts. Let's check not match. It's high, so we're looking for a low. Okay, so let's write a program. So input FF output uh, E zero and jump again. All right. Now we'll single step. Uh, oops. Zero. Okay. Single step. Input FF. There's the input fetch. And here's the jump. I mean the uh, output to uh, E0. And then here's the fetch. And yay, the signal went low. So we are addressing the signal now, uh, the card. So I've never seen I've never seen a switch like that go bad. Uh, that's a new one, so something to look for. Well, I think it's as much testing as I can do, and I think it's uh, we might as well go ahead and stick the chip in and see if uh, see if something happens.